Greetings, everybody. I want to do a very quick video um, about the, I'm sure you've heard about the 200 horses in Arizona dying. Well, the whole story obviously sounded very suspicious to me. Um, the most suspicious about the story, the narrative, is uh, the fact that they claim drought, but yet the horses were dead in mud. And in mud up to their, uh, let's see, the back. Hold on. Right here. These horses weren't shot or maliciously killed by an individual. Police, oh, <laughs> Navajo Police Nation Vice President Nez said. These animals were searching for water to stay alive. They were searching for water. In the process, they unfortunately barreled themselves into the mud. Okay, yeah, we always have mud when we have a drought, right? <laughs> and couldn't escape because they were so weak. Okay, so the mainstream narrative, as we all know, is BS. Okay, I have, let me change pages. And I love the title of this site. The Hemlock Tea Room and Ladies Emporium. Facts and truth, no matter whom it offends, politically incorrect, 100% independent, think it's not illegal yet. Anyways, so these horses, okay, again, it makes no sense for them to have died in mud with a drought. Does that make sense? So... I'm going to sum this up in a nutshell because I've done videos. I wrote a blog about this on Natural News. Uh, I've researched this. What happens is when a government decides, isn't that scary? Look. Several heads of 11 mountain lions. Okay. Anyways. Um. If an animal becomes a nuisance, or is claimed a nuisance or a pest, and clearly out in Arizona, I'm not sure, but they were complaining that, um, I think it was the Navos, sorry, uh, they were complaining of the feral horse problem. Okay, what's the next step? Ask the government to take come in and help out with a problem. What does the government do? They call the wildlife, USDA Wildlife Services. And they come in and they do take care of the problem. In not a good way. Okay? They kill them. And uh, this is just goes into saying, uh, oh. They're either poisoned, trapped, shot, snared, um, gassed. I was reading that somewhere. I didn't get gassed, too. Uh, I think the horses were gassed, with gas pellets. Um, uh, the, uh, let me see here. The more, the more than 4 million animals shot, poisoned, snared, or trapped by the wildlife services in fiscal 2013 included 75,326 coyotes, 866 bobcats, 528 river otters, 3,700 foxes, tw over 12,000 prairie dogs, 973 uh, red-tailed hawks, 419 black bears, and at least three golden and bald eagles. Not to mention, uh, they have a thing called Starlicide. All right, I, that was in my blog. It's on my YouTube channel way back when uh, they have for the birds they have bait sites and they use something called starlicide uh, it's very close to I think strychnine and they bait the birds and in it takes one to two days for them to go into kidney failure and then they simply fall out of the sky that's the wildlife services that's what happened the 200 horses. Again, I'm going to need to do a little more work on this to, to make it 
you know, try and help connect the dots. But I can only speak from what I've researched in the past, and I have researched the wildlife services, and they are awful. They just kill. Kill is the solution. All right. Um, I don't need to go into this article. Okay. So, anyways, it's the wildlife services. Uh, let's see. So they kill a lot. And then they accidentally, okay, here, there's a, though there's a list of animals killed, there's little data showing the cause for each killing. Yeah, okay. The methods used and the reasons behind mistakes that lead to massive kills, I don't think they're massive kills or a mistake, uh, of animals that are not targeted. At least two members of, con like this means anything. At least two members of Congress called Wildlife Services secret and opaque. Well, yeah, okay, but they are part of the government. All right? Um, so, this is what happens when people ask the government for help. When you have a wildlife problem, uh, you ask your government for help, they're going to call in the wildlife services, and they're just going to kill the problem. So, uh, I don't think that's the solution. I say leave them all alone. And here's another little tidbit. Come to find out that wild horses can cure chronic wasting disease, which is another chemtrail geoengineering made up BS thing too. But it, it does. The horses have the ability to eradicate or get rid of that wasting syndrome. So anyways, no, the 200 horses did not die because they fell into some mud up to their knees because of the drought. <laughs> okay, yeah, we always have mud when we don't have rain. So, does that even make any sense? Just for anybody to believe the mainstream narrative, you better get your eyes, ears, and everything checked. Because that's that's a BS story. These, these horses were murdered because this group of people, the Navajos, called up the government they called up wildlife services. They went out and they gassed them with gas pellets. There you go. End of story. Bye. Thanks for watching.